The 10th annual Golden Apricot International Film Festival is offering film buffs the most diverse selection of movies from the world of narrative, documentary, and experimental cinema. From the biopic of a woman who coined the phrase the banality of evil when covering the trial of one of the organizers of the Jewish Holocaust, to a documentary about gender selection, this year's festival has brightened Armenia's star on the map of international film festivals. Well, I just have to say that having been to many film festivals around the world, Vosked Ziran is so special, not just for Armenians, but for um, art house filmmakers, directors, producers. Such an intimate setting where people spend the whole week together, every evening is spent together, you network, you share, you learn. It's just a lovely uh, festival and I'm so proud to be a part of it. American-Armenian Adriana Gregorian's film Pavagan, or Enough, explores gender selection abortions in Armenia. Two years ago, she won the top prize at the Armenia-Turkey Cinema Platform, which gives filmmakers from Armenia and Turkey the opportunity and funding to make films together. Armenia Turkey Cinema Platform is funding films since 2009 and our films, until now we have 10 and two are in the post-production, our 10 films have been screened in lots of international film festivals, especially in Istanbul Film Festival and Golden Apricot Film Festival, but also in the very well-known international film festivals. On the platform this year, Lucina Dink's Saroyan Land. It's a docudrama about William Saroyan's 1964 trip to the birthplace of his ancestors, the city of Bitlis. Our aim is to bring two film industries of two countries together. So if it's an application from Turkey by a director, we are encouraging, encouraging them to come together with an Armenian producer or Armenian director of photography or Armenian actresses. So the same for the Armenian applicants. So if they are applying from Armenia, we are encouraging them to have the same partners from Turkey. The Armenia-Turkey Cinema Platform is a joint initiative between the Golden Apricot Film Festival in Yerevan and Anatula Kultur of Istanbul, which funds projects that help overcome cultural and regional differences and prejudices. This year, it's handing out a $10,000 and $5,000 prize for co-productions. One of the leading voices in new German cinema, Margrethe von Trotta, was among those listening to young filmmakers pitch the Armenia-Turkey cinema platform their proposals for funding. Das ihn doch selber gehört, hat nur dem Gesetz gehorcht. Anna, bitte, du kannst das so nicht schreiben, nicht für den New Yorker. She says she has made films that deal with history, and she's fascinated to hear how people here in Turkey and Armenia are dealing with their history. Von Trota says she got interested in Armenian history when she read Franz Werfel's 1933 novel, The 40 Days of Musadal. And since I read this book, it impressed me so much, and I wanted to know more uh, about the genocide, about Armenia, about all the culture of, of, of Armenia. And I, I looked it up in the lexicon and I, I came here with already an, an idea. And yesterday when there was a pitching for, for, for films which will be made about the genocide, I went there and I was very uh, amazed that there's still so much longing to make films about this past. And since I'm making films about our past, which is a very different past, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really interested how people are dealing with this story here. At the festival this year, Von Trotta screened her award-winning film Hannah Arendt. The biopic is about the influential German-Jewish philosopher and political theorist who reported about the 1961 trial of ex-Nazi Adolf Eichmann for The New Yorker. In addition to conducting one of the Golden Apricot's master classes for aspiring and practicing filmmakers, Von Trotta and other leading voices in modern cinema had the opportunity to visit Armenian churches and monuments. Von Trotta's favorite spot was the Parajanov Museum because she says she met him once when he was presenting his film in Munich and she became a great admirer of his body of work. Controversial Austrian filmmaker Ulrich Seidel is also in Yerevan this week. He's brought six of his films, including the Paradise Trilogy. Seidel has been called both a genius and pornographer for portraying intimacy in unconventional ways. In meinen Filmen ja immer Kontroversen bei der Kritik und dem Publikum. Es gibt Leute, die ähm, völlig ähm, begeistert sind und es gibt aber auch immer wieder Leute, die äh, Schwierigkeiten haben, das, was sie hier sehen, anzunehmen. Sie sind verstört. 
Even his approach to filmmaking is unconventional. The director says he doesn't like to rehearse and doesn't want his actors knowing how they're going to perform. He's admitted to shooting 90 hours for what turned out to be a five and a half hour trilogy. Prolific French-Armenian producer Alan Terzian is also in town to help honor his childhood friend Charles Aznavour, who was the guest of honor at this year's festival. I think that this festival is, a, how you say, like a window of uh, pictures from all over the world, uh, which meet and talk, and uh, I see the directors here from Hungary, Poland, uh, Turkey, Rus Russia, France. It's a fabulous meeting point because of the uh, Armenian history and uh, all the authorities, the government, the president, they uh, honor open and come to this festival to say how important it is that uh, all the countries all over and uh, all around, they come here and they meet and they talk about peace, creativity, freedom and uh, love. Terzian says when he's in Yerevan, he feels like he's back home and he's extremely happy to visit the land of his grandparents, one he considers a crossroads for cultures and nations. Filmmakers from Armenia's neighbor to the south, Iran, are also competing in this year's festival. One of the films in the feature competition called Parviz left many in the audience wondering why the film was made and what the filmmaker's message was. Canadian-Armenian actor Levon Haftvan stars as the 50-year-old who lives with his father. Parviz is a man who doesn't have a job and helps around the neighborhood until his father announces that he's getting married and he's kicking his son out. Birun! I like the character, definitely. I like the character. But it wasn't clear for me how a director wants to interpret that. Piece because they sent me by email, I was in Toronto, so I got the text. I read, I thought, uh, does he want me to be a psycho? For example, it, it, it had the potential, you know, to act as a psychopath guy. Hafswan told director Majid Barzagar if he had to play a psycho, he'd pass on the film. And he told, no, 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 no we don't want a psycho, we want a normal guy, a kind guy, who lives in the society, in the community, and uh, helps everybody, but uh, circumstances changes and he loses his uh, identity. He has an identity crisis. I asked Hafswan how he managed to play an anti-hero who kills neighborhood pets, steals a baby in a stroller, accosts a dry cleaner and imprisons his landlord, and still managed not to come across as a psycho. I try to don't act. That's the, that's the hardest, uh, uh, hardest thing that an actor can do. Don't act. I didn't act. <laughs> Critics have said the lack of communication between Parviz and his father is a metaphor for governments that rule with bold authority and abandon citizens in their hour of need. World-renowned and acclaimed Oscar-winning Hungarian director Istvan Szabó is heading the jury this year. Festivals are the best to help us to wake up the interest of the audience. Uh, I suggest to every country to create a festival, to invite the good films, because the, distribution, the distributors are not really able to invite the best film. Uh, they, they, uh, they would like to put, you know, the blockbusters into the cinema. So uh, festivals are very, very important. Uh, this festival has a tradition, 10 years old, so over the kindergarten, uh, over the elementary school, just coming to the high school, which means that um, uh, this uh, festival has uh, some value, and I was happy to be invited. Hailed worldwide as an extraordinary cinematic event. I asked the master filmmaker if those following in his footsteps are living up to his expectations. Listen, every generation try to find uh, their own language and uh, every generation has new idea, it's fine. But remember, when Picasso uh, found in himself a talent to be a painter, he went to Italy 
and learned uh, how the great Italian painter in the Renaissance uh, did their job. So I think um, to forget that the great filmmakers uh, from Griffith and Eisenstein or Dreyer and Renoir and Truffaut and Fellini and Bergman and Antonioni and Kurosawa created their beautiful stories. It's not bad to learn. Mr. Sabo says the jury has a tough task ahead in picking a winner. And how does he rate the Golden Apricot Festival? I rate this very high. Yeah. Thank you. I, I like the festival very much and uh, to be honest, I like your country very much because uh, I like the people that I met and I like, uh, you know, the fantastic uh, history of, of, of your country and uh, I think it's a great experience and I am very thankful for it. The 10th annual Golden Apricot wraps up this weekend when we find out whom the judges picked as the winners of this year's festival. Good night, good luck. Paul Chadurjian, Seda Grigorian, CivilNet.